there's been an ongoing debate with the prisoner transport. So mm -hmm. what's happening now? Well, I think I don't know if debate is the right word to use. It's been it's been an ongoing look at how this is done and what the, the different responsibilities are. Now a day after Call 6 Investigates broke a story about the issues over transporting prisoners, the Marion County Sheriff's Office is sitting down with us, telling us they're much further along in the discussions on transports. It is our responsibility as it stands right now to serve our clients, which we consider IMPD to be, and to, and to pick up those uh, arrestees as quickly as we can. But two weeks ago, Call 6 uncovered the Sheriff's Office has been running some shifts with only two wagons for the entire county, all 403 square miles. Watch your head there, Watch your head. So why the shortage of wagons? The Sheriff's Department says it comes down to staffing. The bottom line on this is the salaries of the deputies in the Marion County Sheriff's Office. This is starting to uh, come home to roost because we're losing deputies. But the lack of wagons has been forcing some Metro officers to transport their own arrestees downtown. And that means some officers are now being forced to leave their assigned patrol beat to take the arrestee downtown. And it's something the police union says isn't effective for stopping crime. But the Sheriff's Office tells us they are now working on two solutions with IMPD. We set up uh, one program where there were staging areas. During certain times, the wagons will ask Metro officers to meet them at a central point, somewhere closer to their beat and where the wagon can pick up multiple prisoners. Another approach is to, uh, instead of picking up one or two arrestees and going back to intake, keep going and pick up three or four or five and take them all back to intake. The Sheriff's Department telling us they're working closely with IMPD to make sure officers stay on the beat. We're not ignoring this situation. We're trying to work to fix it. The sheriff's office tells us this really comes down to their current staffing levels. They say they need to hire about 90 people. They're starting a hiring campaign with signs like this around the city, hopefully to get more people on the department, bringing those staffing levels back to full levels. We're going to continue following this and keep you updated on how it's working. Amanda. All right. Well, new